Are you looking for a place to easily store your gold and silver where there's no passcode to be given to the FBI and if you need to access them quickly, you can do so? I think I found a solution. Buy your gold and silver online from SD Bullion. New customers get gold or silver at spot by visiting sdbullion.com slash new. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. I'm going to show you exactly how to use this dirty man safe system. It's a way in which you can bury your gold and silver underground. It doesn't have to be just gold and silver though. You could put in supplies or second amendment type stuff. And if you need to retrieve it, you can do so extremely easily. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. If you want to pick one up for yourself, make sure you use the code DRAGON10 at checkout to get your 10% off. Also, stick around for the end of the video. I'm going to go over some frequently asked questions and a way to possibly even make this safe better. All right, so here I am unboxing the Dirty Man safe for the first time ever. And in the video, I show you just how easy it is to use but essentially you're going to take this handle and use it to pull your safe out of the ground now on the bottom side here this is where you're actually going to load in your precious metals or whatever else you're putting in here maybe you're worried about shtf you got chlorine tablets maps i don't know what you want to put in there uh, but they do send a few extra things as well they have salting materials these are i believe steel ball bearings that you can bury around your safe to throw off the metal detectors but we are actually going to see if the safe is even able to be picked up by my metal detector a little bit later in the video uh, so stay tuned for that. But first things first, we're going to put two one ounce American gold buffalo coins into the safe. These are 24 karat gold. You can just put them right into the bag that they provide and you can slip them into the safe. No other steps needed for gold. However, when it comes to silver, silver can tarnish over time if it comes in contact with water or sulfur in the air. So we need to include a silica gel packet in with the silver. Obviously, once we seal the safe, no additional air or water can get into it, but there can be some in the air before we seal the safe. So that's why we include the silica gel packets, which thankfully they provide those as well. So you just want to hand tighten it, uh, maybe a little bit over hand tighten. You don't want to crank down on this too hard because obviously we're going to have to open it at some point. Now I do want to mention all of the metal components in the safe itself are made with 316 stainless steel. So they're not going to rust or corrode over time. And they also should not be able to be picked up by a metal detector, which of course we're going to test. Now you are going to need to bury this tube first. This is how the system works. Then you put the safe into the tube and you put the cap on top of it. Cover the whole thing with dirt and then when you're ready all you got to do is just pull it out of the ground and it slides out super easily. When it comes to burying that tube I'm using a six inch post hole digger and one thing we found that was actually really helpful is we used a breaker bar to kind of soften up the dirt first this actually really helped because once the dirt was loose it was really easy to grab and remove this whole process probably took us about five minutes or so and we ended up going about I would say 30 inches deep. Now, obviously you can go deeper, but for the purpose of this video, that seemed to be fine. You can see there's around six to eight inches above the top of the tube there. So now all we have to do is simply load in the safe and then put the cap on the top. I decided to leave the handle right on top of the cap there because this is only around six inches below the surface. However, if you're burying your safe deeper, then you're going to want the handle elevated a little bit so it's easier to get to. So after we pack down the dirt here, we're going to actually go ahead and mark exactly where our safe is uh, with an X because we are going to test this with my Mine Labs metal detector. And uh, we're going to use this 10 ounce silver bar as a control. So check this out. No sound at all. 
Metal detector freaks out. So obviously this worked. Now, eventually you're going to want to remove your safe from the ground. And the good thing is you don't need to dig the whole thing up. You just need to dig down to the handle, which you could mark in some way if you like. But once you find it, all you have to do is pull straight up and the safe and the cap will both come out of the ground together. This was extremely easy to do. And the good thing about these safes is they are completely reusable. So you can pull it out of the ground if you like. And if you want to bury it in a new place, you can pull the tube out of the ground and the whole system you can use as many times as you like. Uh, I actually went ahead and filled in that hole that was there, and this is what it looked like after it was filled in. So clearly, you could hide this anywhere, and no one would know where your gold and silver is located. If you go to their website, dirtymansafe.com, you will notice they have three different sizes available currently, and the one I showed in the video is the medium size here called the Dirty Man. Regardless of which size you purchase, don't forget to use the code DRAGON10 for a discount on your order. Now let's get to some of the frequently asked questions. So the safe itself is made out of ABS, which is rated to last 50 years underground, but it probably will last much longer than that. The stainless steel cable and the swages, in fact, all of the metal used in this is 316 stainless steel. Basically, it's never going to corrode and no one is gonna be able to find the metal in the safe itself with a metal detector. Now, obviously, when I buried the safe, I didn't fill it completely full with gold. So there was nothing towards the top half of my safe when it was underground in the video. If I did fill it completely full, then I probably would have needed to bury it deeper underground as to not pick it up with my metal detector, which by the way is a very expensive metal detector and uh, it wasn't able to pick it up at all. So if you do wanna bury your safe deeper underground, you absolutely can do that. If you wanna bury it extremely deep underground, here's a way where you could potentially make the safe even better. You can go ahead and email howard at dirtymansafe.com and request a longer cable, and he will provide a longer cable when he ships it out to you so you could bury it even deeper if you like. Now, the cable is rated at 900 pounds, so you're going to be able to pull your safe out of the ground. The plastic is rated at five to 600 pounds. However, if you were to fill this completely full with gold, it would only weigh around 17 pounds, and uh, you're gonna be able to pull that out of the ground, even if there's lots of water on top of it, it's not gonna be a problem. Now, the typical resistance, if you were to bury this one foot underground uh, from the top of the cap to the uh, surface of the dirt, it's gonna be about 35 pounds of resistance. So the average person is going to be able to easily pull this out of the ground. Probably even a child should be able to pull it out of the ground as well. The safe itself is completely waterproof, even if you just hand tighten it. I dunked mine underwater, there was no air bubbles. The part where the cable attaches to the safe, this is a separate compartment. So even if some water were to get into here, it won't get into the actual safe. These are different compartments here. So everything you put in this is going to be protected from a flood, from a fire, from an earthquake, and obviously no one is going to know where it is underground except for you, so no one's gonna be able to give away the passcode to your safe. I know a lot of people are worried about the Liberty Safe issue where the FBI was easily able to obtain a sort of backdoor passcode into one individual's safe, and by the way, those backdoor passcodes exist not for just that particular brand, but every brand of safe has a backdoor passcode, whether it's an electric safe or mechanical safe. So just be very careful with that. I suppose this probably is the safest way to store your precious metals. 
And if you need to access them quickly, let's say in a SHTF scenario, you need to get to your silver that you want to use to barter with. Maybe this thing is full of mercury dimes. Maybe you got maps in there, some second amendment type stuff as well, especially if you get the larger safe that you bury underground. Well, you're going to be able to pull it out of the ground quickly. It's not like you're going to need to spend hours digging it up. Whereas with other types of things that you bury underground, they can take a long time to get out of there. But because the tube that this goes into has a gap between the safe and the tube itself, it's extremely easy to remove. You can do so quickly on the run or in whatever scenario. So I actually think this is a really good product. Uh, I was sent this one here for free to do a review on it. I was not paid to do a review. This is all my own opinions. And uh, I'm going to get another one as well because I think they're absolutely fantastic. So again, if you want to check them out, I will put a link down below in the description for their website. It's dirtymansafe.com. And uh, don't forget to use that code DRAGON10. And it does help out the channel as well when you use that code. I believe right now they're only shipping to the United States of America. Hopefully they ship worldwide soon. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons out.